If you've got fine textured hair and you wanna get the best haircut possible, this video is for you. <laughs> I just took this very small section right around the hairline. I'm going to be just using a clip, just to clip that hair out of the way. And what I do is I push this forward, just like so. Now I'm gonna take another horizontal back section. As you can see, I'm just pushing this forward, forward, forward and I'm building this right next to each other, just like that. And you can see how you're starting to build that line forward. So you're building this, you're going from short to long. Let's take another section back. Okay, working this forward. And as you can see, I want to keep this line going all the way down. If your hair is a little bit thinner towards that bottom back area, then instead of what I'm doing where I'm actually bringing this line just like that, you would actually create this line and you would keep it going at an angle to bring that up. Super simple. that's just the perimeter. We have not layered that top portion. Now keep in mind when layering, the, the, the definition of layering is actually removing weight. Now, if you've got fine textured hair, you wanna make sure those lines are really blunt. That's number one. And number two, layering can be good, but it can also take away of what you are trying to do, which is make the hair full and thick. There's like a happy medium in between there that makes layer, layering that sweet spot. Most people that have fine textured hair want volume. Making sure the hair looks full and thick and then having volume. If you guys agree, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, let's cut the other side. Now when we're actually starting this other side, bring this out the same way and we're gonna be cutting this straight off. So now that we've got that, that even, let's go ahead and take those. And we are just mimicking that exact same section we took from right in front to right in back. And now that I've established that guide, I can really just work this section forward and just kind of show you guys exactly how that works. to layer it. Take a mohawk section, take that up, and then I'm going to, as you can see, I'm starting to just cut all the way. I'm not gonna go like all the way down. I don't need to like round this out just down through there, but I need to take enough off to where that volume is just going to explode and I'm still going to keep it to where it goes. You know, it still has that angle to where it's going from like short to long back through there. So take this back section up just like this. Same Mohawk section. And so now if it reaches all the way up, just cut that off. Now what we want to do is that we're going to take that next section right below that mohawk and we're going to bring that up 
until the hair kind of falls out. And there's just a little bit of hair right like there. A little bit of hair just like right there. Now we're gonna take it all up and see if it reaches. Because it might not reach, right? It doesn't necessarily reach, there's a little point there. Does it reach up? There's a little point there. Now we wanna do the opposite side. So we're going to come over here on this right side. You can see where your guide is at, just like that. And then just like that. Take a little bit more. And you can take rather like large sections because again, you know, a lot of times, you know, if that hair doesn't necessarily reach and you can look and see where you are on the guide if you're right over that center portion. Turn that off. You can glam up a hairstyle no matter what. You can glam it up with a blow dryer, flat iron, curling iron, crimper, whatever it is, you can glam it up any way you want. But a lot of times people don't really realize how amazing their texture is. Now, what I wanna do is I just want to enhance the natural texture of this mannequin and then bring out the, the, the coolness of the texture of the way we cut it because we cut it very blunt. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so what I wanna do is that I'm actually going to be putting a little bit of Bumble and Bumble gel in here. Now, the cool thing is that I just wanna get texture in the hair. Like that is like the most important thing. And I think that a lot of times when you, if you don't apply enough product, you're not gonna get that texture that you really want. Now this, this Bumble and Bumble gel is it's pretty awesome because it's not heavy. It's not really too stiff. And I'm going to be using a diffuser. I'm gonna be drying the hair more on the natural side of things. Now I'm just kind of going through and I'm, I'm, I'm brushing it through with my comb and just to kind of get it all around. And then what I really wanna do is I want to kind of encourage some of that wave and texture to come out. Encouraging is almost gonna be kind of like scrunching a little bit and or just bending the hair back to its roots. And you can see how I'm just kind of starting to kind of wet form the style because I kind of want to get, I just want to get that texture to come out. And I, I really, really try to encourage a lot of people to really just do their hair more on the natural side. If they can really truly kind of embrace it. gel from Bumble and Bumble. It's amazing, okay? Now, this right here, also diffuser, blow dryer. Now, I'm gonna link some of my favorites below, but I diffused it, as you can see, and I just really diffused, 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 just to get it all the way dry. Then, I took a comb, and you could use a brush as well, and I brushed it out because it was like looking a little bit too wet and shiny for me, and I didn't want that. I wanted to bring out more of that drier texture. And so I brought out a little bit more of like that, that drier texture. When you bring out that drier texture, it makes it look full and thick. And then you actually get a little bit more volume as well. And I just started to do it like this. Brush out some of that texture through there. And then I kept kind of playing with it, kind of scrunching it. And you can see how amazing it looks. It's got like a really cool, very current, you know, shaggy look. Great for fine textured hair. Now again, keep in mind, you can vary these lengths. You can cut them shorter. You can do it a little bit longer. So some people that have fine hair, they have fine hair and they have a ton of it, or they have fine hair and they don't have a ton of it. Use your discretion when you are cutting this and or you know, going to a stylist that knows how to do this. Cool, I really hope you guys enjoyed 
this right here. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Jake Thompson Hare. We'll see you guys in the next video. Best on me